Okay. Yeah, I feel like we worked a little bit on the side that has the flowers on it. And now we yeah. need to add flowers to the other side. Okay. And I think, um, I think the one with the flowers on it is looking pretty good. Remember, you don't always have to scrape to soften. Okay. Oh, you uh -huh. got a hair. I like your haircut. It looks really cute. <laughs> Actually, you know what it is? What? This is a top piece on uh, my head. Oh, it looks really I lost cute. so much hair on the top of my head. I like the top piece. I might have to get that too. See, look, I'm same thing, like right here, right here. I might have to get a top piece. It's just terrible, but you know, I'm forcing That's myself to wear it. I think it looks adorable. It looks great. Nobody would know. Nobody would know. It looks really cute. Okay, wait, well, hang on one second. Let me put paper on here. Yeah, hold on one second. Do you have wax melted? Yeah, I have wax melted and I got organized so that we can continue. So one of the things that I wanted to, wanted to remind you is that when you want to soften, if, when you put the wax on, sometimes it looks kind of harsh. Remember, if you want to soften it, you don't always have to scrape it, right? So there's other ways to soften it. You can soften More wax, it. probably. You can put clear wax over it in a layer, right? Which will soften it. Or you can actually just take the heat gun and sort of, you know, spread uh, it out. Right. So remember that there's, right? This, like, remember, there's always three choices to softening. Yes. Right? So you have to make sure that you're choosing the technique that is going to work the best for you. And razor blading is not the only technique. Okay, so one is razor blading? One is definitely scraping with a, yes, yeah, scraping with a tool. One way is scraping with a tool. Mm -hmm. Another way um, is using the heat gun, right? To sort of heat the wax up and spread it out. Right. And another way is putting another coat of translucent, or clear wax over top of the of it. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? So it's like yes. So you can either use and sometimes you can do a combination of the two effects, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so like you could do a little scraping and a little fusing and a little waxing to make it look the way you want. You, okay. you don't you don't want it to look like it's just like stuck on there. You want it to look like it's come, you know, a part yeah, of flowing. Flow. And, yeah. Right, right. And that's just going to take a little bit of time to get used to. I like the colors that we're using. I think the color palette is good. Um, I think we could go ahead and work on the other panel for a little while. OK, OK. So. Um... Would I try to use a similar, similar things? I would use similar stencils. Yeah, usually for each piece, I use the same stencils in a, in a repetitive pattern. Okay. I, sort of, I sort of like the repetition of the same flowers. It's kind of like if you were a gardener, you would sort of pick the flowers that you know you like in your garden, right? Yeah, that, that feels really good to me. And I mean, I don't love, honestly, like, I don't love all flowers. Like, I don't like daffodils. I don't particularly like, you know, there's certain flowers that I just don't like. Uh -huh. I don't. And um, recently, too, I've been watching a lot of um, YouTube videos. And, you know, when I'm at, when I'm at my other job at school, sometimes I just watch, like, I'll just watch YouTube videos on but I watched a really interesting one on watercolors and painting flowers, which actually would not be a, a terrible one for you to watch. I might send it to you. Oh, that's great. It just talks about painting flowers and how, and the simplicity of painting the flowers, but it talks a lot about the shape, the shapes of a flower and drawing a flower. So like, like I think about this a lot of times, like I think of flowers as being like multiple teardrops. Like that's one of my favorite shapes is kind of a teardrop shape, you know? So look at the one in your, in your hand. That's a perfect example. Like to me, yeah, yes. each of the, yeah, that's a perfect example. Like I love that flower because I know I like that shape and I know that I can draw it, I can paint it and I can stencil it. So that's a good one for me to use 
because I understand its form and I can replicate same with it. this. Same with that, exactly. Yes. And same with yeah. that. Right. Now the rose this is slightly different. But... Right. And I don't I don't particularly love that kind of stencil. Yeah. I don't like the stencil that gives me those lines. Yeah, yeah. Because I find those lines very challenging and over they're over illustrated, but it is a, just another look and it could work for you. I wonder, you think this is the same as this? No, that's not the same stencil. That's not. No, it's not the same stencil. You used a different rose stencil and I like the one you used better. Yeah, but I know I'm with you on this because yeah, I don't like the outliney ones. They remind oh, me of one. Yeah, that one's better. Yeah, much better. That's yeah, I like one. that one much better. So yeah, I guess you're getting I more wax on it with that one. More stencils. Yep. Yep. And then what I do, like I do exactly like what you're doing is I move them around. Uh -huh. I would put one next to her eye. Uh-huh. And then one yeah you can do big there little yeah i like that or i would move the one i would move one over closer to his shoulder the one the rose at the bottom yeah i like it better there yeah no i liked it over a little bit i mean yeah maybe over a little bit more yeah i like it there yeah i like it there okay so and, because, we and remember you have flowers in the photograph right yes okay so add the stencils and then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to figure out how to emphasize the flowers that you have and use the added on stencils. Okay. Which is what you're working on on the other side. All right, so go okay. ahead and add the stencils. And I would do the same colors, the same colors that you did before, that light pink. I think like this and this maybe. Yeah, any of those light colors. And why are light colors good? Why are light, why are light colors good? Because what? We can always do what? Add more, make we it can darker. Make them. We can change yeah. them, right? We can make them darker, right? We can add, we can make them more red. They're more flexible. Light colors are more flexible. So at and least start that way. Exactly. I always start, I always start with light colors until Even I'm if sure. I want like some red or deep, I still should start with a, I don't know which way you can. I can see you. No, I'm good. I can see. Okay, so I'll put some of this. Mm -hmm. These and are make really light. Yeah. yeah. And should I do like some beige maybe, like dark I, beige? I, I think that you have a, a lot of gray tones. I mean, you can do a beige, but I would add like a light gray or a cold tone because you're using a black and white photo. Okay. Um, but you can do a little beige. You could also do like a little bit of gray or you can even do a little bit of dark blue or a blue gray. Okay. I love all your wrapping paper. What's that? All your wrapping paper on your shelf. Oh yeah. That's right. So then... You know, I had ordered a bunch of paint, agnostic paint. And I don't know if I told you they got stolen. From what? Them. Your paint got stolen? All the stuff I ordered online. Oh, no. Yeah. So, okay. So now. Paint stolen from your porch or sto stolen from your house? Yeah. In oh. front of our house. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm so Thank sorry. you. Yeah, it was really upsetting. It was hard for me to reorder. Oh my God. Well, wait, did they not have a receipt? Did well, they not have did you they not have a receipt of what they sent you? You know, I wrote to them. I Who was actually it? bought them from Jerry Artarama. Oh yeah, okay. 
and wrote to them, no answer, no response. Either. Oh no. Well, that's why I'm telling you, that's why I only order from the same people all the time. I've told you that. So they know you. Yeah, because they know me. And like, I just actually, I'm doing, um, a, I'm doing, I just got another art grant. Um, and I got a commission, you know, money to spend on art supplies. And I told them, I said, look, I only, I only buy art supplies from you. I want to give you this money, you know, and he, and the guy that owns the store, he's like, we're so busy. I, I don't know if I can do the, or I was like, well, what are you crazy? Like, this is a big, this is a big chunk of money. Like I'll yeah. wait for you. Like, I don't want to give this to Amazon. Like this is, this is lucky. Like, yeah. What was the name of the company? I just sent it to you. It's fineartstore.com. Uh -huh, fine. And I mean, I'm all about, I want to be able to call people and say, Hey, it's Leah. And like today yeah. I called there and the guy that answered the phone was like, Oh, I follow your newsletter. I love your work. Like, I mean, I just feel like it's nice to have a relationship yeah. with people. Yes. It's hard. I don't like just being like, a, I mean, it's fine. This every once in a while, I'll order something on Amazon, but I like customer service and I feel like they could have at least given you um, a receipt of what you got lost or. or so, yeah. Or at least give you a discount for the next. Something. Round. Yeah. So, or insure. I mean, if was it in, was the package insured? No. Well, they should have insured it. I mean, the company that sent it. I don't know. It was, yeah, it's upsetting. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I would just have started, just order, just treat yourself. Maybe you can file a claim with the um, post office or whatever. You know, these days, nobody's around. They don't answer. They don't care. They don't answer. They don't care. I, I still think that you can fill out a form. It just might take longer. I agree. I'd so, that's the part of, that's the part of life these days. It's so sad. It's very, yes. it's like, um, it's very sad. It makes you want to grieve. Yeah. Just like it's taking us to a different time and place. I it know. is. I totally understand. I, I totally understand how you feel. So I'm removing we just have to focus on what brings us joy and what we can do. Yeah, that's what I said. You know what? This is what brings me joy more than anything else. Other yeah. Than my grandson. Yeah. But I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna buy it again. Yeah. So. Yep. Yeah. Think... Oh, nice, beautiful, really nice, perfect. So now, together... you feel like? Do you feel like you need one more? Do you feel like you? Need... I think I do too. It's kind of. I just think that you need one more. You know where I would put it is up here in this right, right here. Right. Where would you put it? Where would I put this one here? Uh, one more uh, down a little yeah. bit. I would yeah. put it in like, no, uh, up in that corner. No, where you were. Yes, yeah, somewhere in there. Somewhere. Yep, somewhere. Yep, somewhere in there. Okay. Maybe another one of these. Um, I think that one's too big. Try a smaller one. I'll just go small, small because the other one is too. Yeah, simple. and you know what? If you do, yeah, I like that. Perfect, perfect. And I would do it, um, in a darker color. Okay. Yeah. A darker color, like maybe maybe a a, a purple. Yeah, maybe a purple. Yeah, beautiful. I love it. And you can blend if you have other colors on your palette. Remember, blend all those colors together. Put that those like, blend them together. Use up all the paint, right? You don't want to waste any paint. Okay. So blend all the paints together. And if you can never, never over blend, right? All the. You can mix all the paints together and add some wax medium so that the colors are like layered. Should I put another one down here? No. Mm -mm. That's all. I think that's it. Cause you have other flowers down there. You can use other techniques to um, paint down there. Oh wait, hang so on. I had the leaves on the other one, uh, which I think would, oh, these. Exactly, or get wasted. 
Oh, I like that. Now wait, let's let's look at. Uh, All right. Uh, maybe. Uh, um, I like, um, I like it. Oh, because, oh, she's got something flipping in her. What? Yeah, that's kind of going out. Let me see that again. Let me see that. Yeah, go for it. I like it. Follow that line. Yeah, I like it. Yep. I like how you're reacting to the photo and. Okay. Yep. You have one week? Oh, wait, 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 wait. What, tell me what this, what's the one week? Let's do it. She said what? She said, I hate that. I was kind of hoping, I was kind of- Did you make a pretty color? I just kind of randomly mixed it with the pink, because you right, said- Right, but mix, I love, I love mix, the colors look so pretty when you mix them together. I just love to mix yeah. them together. And I also like to feel like I'm not wasting any of my wax. So I don't want to, yeah. if I have it on the pal palette, I'm going to put them together. Because why not? They just, you know, they're, it's just going to look more yeah. integrated, like the whole, you know, the whole piece. Yeah, I love those. See how they're so like, they're beautiful, yes. how they flow together. Right. All yes. those colors look like they're related. This and is more than this one. Yeah. That's okay. It doesn't have to be tit for tat. It doesn't have to be like, you know, exact. So let's go ahead and the new one, let's fuse those flowers a little bit with the heat gun. Okay. Let's try like all of those blending techniques, right? So we're not going to do any of the blending too much, just a little bit of fusing. A little bit of fusing and then a little bit of scraping. Yeah. Well, what they do is they... I'll deal with it. So there are some that came were my mistake on the paint. I'm just going to try to remove them with the, the. Right. And remember, you have your tremor, right? So you have to, don't feel forced to use any of these techniques. If shaving is hard for you, we'll figure out how to do it without your having to do that. Because that's you know, I took a medication before the class began to see. Okay, but I don't want you to have, I mean, again, like you, this needs to work for you and you need to develop techniques that work for you that Thank you're comfortable you. with. Yeah. So if you, if you find that shaving is hard with your arm, no, actually, let's, it's, it's, it's not harder than other things, you know? And wait, can I recommend another tool? You may or may not have it. Do you have a pottery scraping tool? Yes, like it's like a, it looks like a half dot. It looks like a silver. It looks like a. It looks like um a, a wedge. It's about this big. It's about two. No, 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 I don't think you have it. But you need to get it because razor blades because your of your hand movement like this, the razor blade might be too hard for you. Very similar to that, but that does not work with wax. That's not that doesn't it doesn't work with the wax because it just it. It doesn't make enough contact with the wax. That thing might this work. This kind of thing. Well, yeah, except it's made out of metal. Um, it's actually on. plastic. Yeah, does that, have you oh, tried? I mean, yours is made out of, oh. Mine is made out of metal. I'm gonna send you a picture of it. Okay. Try that one. Do you like, do you like that? Try the pink one. Did that work for you? I have never used it. I just took it. Try it. Try it, see if it works. Like you mean something like this? Oh, I like that. Yeah, try that tool instead of the razor. I use blade. this for a lot of things in my room here. Well, okay, so you, you're you the artist and you, like... you need to use tools that work for you. Okay. The razor blade, because you, I think what happened, this is just what I think is happening, is I think because you're squeezing it so hard with your fingers, it's making your arm shake more. Uh-huh. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? That makes sense. Yes. So it's like, because you're focusing and tensing up the part of your arm, your arm is struggling. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. try something that you don't have to hold as tightly that will do the same thing. So try that words, tool. Like, this does yeah, more of it. Then. Right. And maybe, maybe you just do it gently with that. And you have, I think that looks better. How do you feel? Better? I feel okay. Okay, good. Yeah. Maybe that's easier. Maybe the razor blades are, are not for you. I mean, recently it's gotten worse because I think my stress level has been worse. Well, actually for all of us to be able to function properly, we'd probably need like three hours of meditation and yeah, only it's salad. And I mean, our, our modern day lives, lives do not um, satisfy, keep us healthy. <laughs> yeah. They make, yeah, but, but so is life, you know, such as, such as life. Such as life. Maybe right. I can heat it up. So it oh yeah. Can... Heat it up a little bit. That's a great idea. Um, not on a point though. Use it on its side. Don't try to use the point. Use the side. Yeah. Use the side. There you go. That is that working? Yeah, it works. I don't know if it's better than the well i'm going to take a picture uh hang on i'm going to find this tool right now you know, i i'm able to remove them nevertheless the only good thing about the razor blade is more exact but i guess it doesn't have to be exact so well you want it to be able to go be smooth if you want okay here's the tool Oh, right. Here's the tool, but you want this one. This, do you see this? Okay. Let me make it. It said Dick Blick. It's a okay. Kemper steel scraper. And it's- Yeah, I just took a picture of it. So what, the reason that I like this tool is because uh -huh. it's it bent, so it bends in your hand. In the hand. So what happens is that you can just hold it and you Go can like bend this, it and then you can just up. and then you can just scrape gently and it just removes this on the surface. Okay. Okay. All right. So I fuse them. Uh-huh. And um, so what do we do next? I would scrape them a little bit more, especially the one at the top. Do you see how that oh, you know, when I said scraped, I meant the places where it didn't belong. Oh, okay. So like now my you pain. Right, right. I understand. Did you scrape the flowers a little bit? No, not at all. Okay, so let's scrape the flowers a little bit so that they look um, not so poppy, like not so 3D. Like a little bit softer. I'll use one of these to see. Yeah, try or a little bit of a palette knife. And yeah, not everyone has to be the same. You can do a little bit more on one. You can do it. Yeah. I'm losing some of the, a little bit of the shapes. That's okay. We that's don't, okay. we don't mind that. We don't, you know what that flower looks like. The right. thing about that flower and it's nice that you're using it is that you know how to recreate that flower. You could draw it. You can, you have the stencil, you can add another one on top. You know, you have a lot of choices here and we're not afraid of losing it a little bit. Okay. Kind of have to get over the fear of like losing. Yeah, perfect. It's beautiful. Now let's scrape the bottom rose a little bit. Yep. So it's not quite so cookie cutter. Yep. And then maybe that little leafy thing. And then we can put a little bit of a wax layer over top of it. Okay. And maybe this one is a little cookie cutter. Okay, so put a layer of wax over. Yeah, it. put a what? Now, what, when you're doing this, let's talk about this for a second. So look at makeup, and I would do this. Oh, have you done this over the other panel? Um, you added more wax over the flowers. I don't think I you don't have. think so. No, okay. I haven't. 
So let's put the whole piece back together when you do this. And what's nice about having a split panel is uh -huh. that you can work on it as one and you can work on it separately. Okay. But for something like this, I would work on the whole thing because what you're gonna be looking for is the flow. And here, look, I would look at the flow of her hair. Right, the flow of her hair cascading and there's more hair on the left side than the right side, right? Right. So what I would do is either, I would go around the top line of her hair with the wax. Okay. Yeah, go over the I line see. of her hair, yep. Okay. And then on the other one, on the right one, I would go maybe around the outside a little bit. Yeah, so over wait, the hang flower. on, let me show you. Let me, yeah, hold on, hold the panel there for one second. Hold the whole thing, I'm gonna take a picture. And I'm gonna show you in Photoshop before you do it. Hold on. I think this works out well. Okay, so put the piece down. Let's look at it in Photoshop before you go ahead and do it. Cause I, I brought always... some boards near me if I needed to practice. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. it's always oh, so pretty. <laughs> Is that your horse? That's my horse. Oh, yeah. He got hurt today. Oh, really? Yeah, he got like a puncture wound in his Ooh. in his chest. I know, but he'll be okay. He just has to. Oh, he has to heal it up. He got kicked by another horse. Oh wow! I know, it's scary. All right. So it's a little bit off. It's a little bit crooked, but that's okay. Just because of the way. You were holding her nose. I was holding it not completely, yeah. Right, so I just lightened it up so that we could look at it. Okay, so I would, I, I think this top flower is perfect. I think that this flower here is giving us a little, is a little bit problematic. Yeah, it's too perfect, right? I think that it's too, yeah, I think that it's too perfect. And I think that it's, um, I think that this flower here is giving us a problem. I think it's yeah. too close to her eye. Too close, yeah. So what I think yeah. you should do is scrape this part away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm taking it away. Yes. But you have to make it look like it's natural. So if you take, you know what I mean? Like you're gonna almost like yes. leave half of the flower. I'm doing kind of a lame job, but I would scrape at least that much away of the flower. I think part of what you're seeing over here, uh -huh. I don't know, can you see? Yeah. Over here, that little piece, uh -huh. I think it was another layer in Photoshop that I was adding flowers. So I think it's part of the photo. Oh, the, it's fine. I'm not worried about that. I'm, I'm not, I wasn't worried about that. I think not the, the, oh, you're saying the whole thing. I just think that the flower should be, I think we should see more of her cheek there and less of the flower. It's kind of mm -hmm. like, I, I like it much better where I can see a little bit more of her cheek and that the flower is kind of like on her ear uh -huh. or like tucked away. Do you know what I mean? Now, wait, I, I wanted to talk. I, I wanted to share something too. And I did this, I did this yesterday. So do you see, wait, I want you to look at something. Do you see hold on, how I removed the, the, I removed the flower, but watch this. If I, by, by scraping, right? I removed it by scraping. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna, let me see, I'm gonna put it back. I'm gonna yes. put it. I'm gonna put the whole flower back now. Just give me one second. Oh wait, I don't know if it's gonna work. Well, wait, I wanted to say that the other thing, if you don't wanna scrape it off, is that you could just take the color, the skin color of her skin and you can uh -huh. scrape it down a little bit and you can paint over it. So do you see how if I take if I take her skin uh -huh. color, do you see, I took a medium uh -huh. gray. Uh -huh. I mean, that's way too, that's way too opaque, but you don't have to get rid of it. You could cover it up is what I'm trying to uh -huh. suggest. Uh -huh. So you could use 
probably not wax, but you could, do you see like maybe a pan pastel? Do you see how uh -huh. if you just kind of painted uh -huh. over it? Yes. So you don't actually have to take it away, but you can just disguise it by making it the same uh -huh. color. Just, you know what this reminds me of? Did you watch that movie called The Octopus Teacher? Yeah, I did. Okay, so you know about the octopus, right? Yeah. So, so do you see how by adding the gray on top of the pink, it blended it into the palette of, of what was underneath it? So that it just looks more camouflaged. Okay. Do you see how does that do you like the way that looks? Yes, yes. So kinda. it's like it's it's like it's there, but it's not popping out because exactly. you've just kind of taken the gray tones of the surrounding image and you've blended it, right? So if and, you, I do have um powder, um A pan pastel. Uh huh. Um, you have gray, it, like gray tones. Let's see. So, black, green, I don't know if you can. Yes, yeah, that looks good. And do you have a lighter color? You're going to need more than one color. Remember, like, we never blend with, like, we always blend in. Yes. Uh -huh. So maybe a, an off white or a white. I did order. I did order some white. I have white and I have the gray. Yeah, the rest are white. There's yellows and no. So, do I just brush it from here? Yep, you're gonna put a little, yep. Just a little bit on and blend it. Oh yeah. Ooh. So it's like, sometimes you can let the texture of the wax be there, but it even though it doesn't have to be contrasty, it can be blending in just, and think about the octopus, right? Like blending into its environment. Uh huh. To disguise itself, right? To just like not be sticking out. Uh huh. A little more. Maybe? Yeah, I like it. I mean, yeah, I love it. Yeah, a little bit more. On the um, on the left, towards the left, not to, away Do I towards add her hair. White or not? Not yet. Add a little, get all your gray tones in, and then your whites. The whites are have to sit on top because if you put them into the gray, they'll um, just get absorbed by the gray. Uh -huh. Do you usually use your finger when you do that? Um, I usually use a little sponge and then sometimes oh, I use my finger. Okay. And then you know what's cool about the pan pastels too is that you can use the heat gun and you can fuse them into the wax so that they're dry. Oh. Oh. You don't want to heat it up too much and ruin your flour, but if you just heat it up a little bit, it'll kind of be absorbed by the wax and it'll look really nice. Yeah, I think that looks good. Now you can use a lighter color, a whitey pink or a white to put a little bit of light back in there. In the same areas that I put. Well, maybe before. you need to, well, I don't know. Look at her face. Does you, her face need to be a little bit lighter? Like under her eyes, is that her cheek, is there a highlight? On, like we're, I'm worried more about her face than I am about her the eyes. Flower. Yeah. So I would just be painting like her face and let the flower be secondary. It's like kind of, changing your priorities, right? Like, right. I get it. 
maybe better oh better yeah i love it yeah i love it it's really pretty it's really pretty so okay. let's do you like that technique yeah i love it yeah it's beautiful it yeah it's beautiful okay. okay so should i get rid of the some of this the rest of the flower no i would just leave it just like that i love it i think it's very pretty okay. no i like that it's kind of behind there i like that there's layers i like that okay. it's blended no i like everything about it yeah. Okay, great. Okay. So let's go back to the Photoshop thingy. And then what I'm going to show you is where I would add. All right. So now basically you did what I did here. You did, yeah. right. You did the same thing. So it's really interesting. I think it's great that like, I can show you something here in Photoshop, right. And you can make note that you were able to do like, see, like this is a layer in Photoshop of light gray. And then basically up here, I'm controlling the opacity of this layer, which is the same as you sort of adding and subtracting mm -hmm. um, how much pigment you put on there, right? Right. Okay, so, and then here's white. So I made it lighter, right? And then look, you could add a little bit of white to her face. A lot of times when I use white on a flower, I'll put it back in the figure. Oh, okay. Right, so you could put it on both sides of her face. All right, so what flower needs, so let's okay so let's do the wax now so basically i'm going to draw a line of where i think you should wax um so i feel like you should wax maybe oh wait well hold on i feel like you could wax like here right okay i feel like you could wax here in that right. direction, right? Yeah, I like this upward direction here. I like this direction here, right? Okay. Here, I think you could do this direction, right? Okay. And then maybe this direction, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you like that? Yes, I do. Okay. Would you just do a little bit? Or would you? Yeah. Do so up here, I think area? up here, I think should be clear. Clear. Uh -huh. Oh my god, that's so funny. I'm trying to. All right, down here, I think could be a dark color. It could be like um, a dark, a gray, a translucent dark gray. It could okay. be um, a very thin black. It could be purple. It could be um, dark. It could be brown if you wanted to do like a brown gray. Okay. Um, up here, I think should could be also be. Um, a clear or a very light mid-tone, like a beige, like if you wanted to use that right. beige. And then right. here too, it could also be like that beigey color. The same as on top. Uh -huh. I think so. I think you, I think so. And then maybe you want to even do, I don't know, do you want to do, do you want to do that too? I don't know. Let's do the four we have and see how it looks. Yeah, I think, right. Okay. And then um, you're going to have to do something here. Wait. You're going to have to do something oh, here. Yeah. You're going to have to do something there. But I don't know what yet. I thought I was putting leaves, but it didn't work. No, you know what? You know what? What about this stencil? Oh, more of that. What uh -huh. about this stencil up here? Oh. Uh, In a dark color. OK flipped over the other way. You mean like going up? Oops. Um, well, 
Hold on one second. Mm -hmm. Let me look at, oh wait, let me get off the screen share. Hold on. Let me say. This way or the other way. I know it's hard to. No, I don't like it that way. No, I don't, I don't like it that way. No, I like it the other way. Um, yeah, yeah, I like it a little bit higher. Yeah, yeah, I like it. In this direction. Yeah, I think it could be a little bit rotate clock counterclockwise this way not, no no closer no where you were but turn it so it's not so cookie cutter yeah so it's a little bit more at an angle yeah good right there yes 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 exactly yep better okay. better so do a dark color um yes i would do a dark color i would not put a light color on there however let me ask you this question if you did put a light color on there with the wax what could you do to darken it just add the what? You could add the pan pastels, right? Right. Right. So you don't have to feel, remember, there's always options. There's choices and options, right? So as I move, okay. Right. But you're using your intuition to guide you and you're making good art art decisions, right? I hope so. No, you are. No, you are. I'm telling you, no, you are. <laughs> How do you like it? I like it. Um, I say. think it brings out the eyes. Yeah. More. But. Um, so what happens if do you have what happens if you do like half a one that kind of like here? Or hot or behind it, like next to it, in between the two. In between these two? In between right here. I can't draw on it. Let me see. Right behind the purple one, in between this pink one and the purple one. This yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, like what if it's a half a one? Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like not the whole thing and maybe a little bit darker. Okay. So. And sometimes what I do too, is I might even just use the brush as if it's like petals. And I might just kind of like drop the brush in various locations to suggest little flowers, just using the brush tip, right? So not yeah. using a stencil or anything very specific, but just kind of like popping the brush around with some paint on it because the end of the brush looks like a flower. Right. No, but I'm not good at drawing. Well, it's not drawing. It's just, it's just, um, okay, good. So let's soften. I like that. Let's soften it. It's a little heavy. So let's soften yeah. it. Should I scrape it first? Fu first you fuse it. First you fuse it. Yep. And then you, first you fuse it and then you scrape it. Okay. So it's still hot. So I'm waiting till it cools off before I scrape it, right? Yeah, or just think or just work gently. Just work gent or just work gently. Yeah. And you can turn the panel too so that you're scraping in a different direction. Yeah. They, they heat up 
Yeah, it doesn't look that much like you could have had cookie cutter at all. I don't think. Yeah, I think that the one should be clear. Yeah, nice. I like it. I like that it's more ambiguous. Yes, I like it. Yeah. Okay. Do you like it? I think it looks beautiful. I do. Okay. I like everything. <laughs> So a lot of times with the flowers, I like them like half off, like more than I like right. them all the way on. Like I Instead don't think of a perfect thing. Yeah. What exactly. about this guy? Can well, you we're gonna that? add now you're gonna do the brush strokes. Let's end tonight with the brush strokes. Okay. And then um I think we are gonna end up covering that up a little bit. I mean, if I were you, I would brush kind of around not over it directly, but around it on both sides. So what I'm going to brush, it's with a wax, right? Yeah, you can use just wax medium. Yep, you're trying to just kind of soften your line and your color and get it all to blend together. Exactly. And do you think this is too small? Do you have a bigger brush? I do. Yeah, use a bigger brush. Too big? No, great. I love it. So I should leave it in the wax so it can get soft. Yep, you gotta soften it up. And then I'm putting in, we talked about here, like brown. You wanna look at the picture again? In the you picture, me? you don't, you can just do it. Can you see it? Uh huh. So you could do definitely this top area with just clear. Clear. If you want to do down here in a, do you have like a gray encaustic paint? Yes. Okay, so you could use like a, a medium to dark gray. So clear on top, gray there. Yeah. And then the, on the other side, more of a beige, right? I think that you need to stay, yeah, I would, or you could just do clear right here on the okay. other side. You know what, you, when you look at this, do you see a pattern sort of emerging where it's like you're switching sides with the curvy lines and then you're also going like kind of light, dark, light, dark? Yes. Right? So the yeah. only, I feel like the only, you should be dark in the lower left corner and maybe dark, a little bit dark in the upper right corner. And okay. then the, the light, the light from this upper left is going diagonally across her face, right? Do you see that? Okay, okay, yeah. So it's like the light is streaming across here, okay. like it's yeah. like the top of her head, her nose, and the other side, right? Yes. Okay, so try, oh, do the I'll wax try. medium. I'll try, um, do oh, the wax the clear first, right? Yeah, try the clear first. Anywhere that it's light, anywhere that the colors are light, do the clear. So you're following your photo underneath. Anywhere that's light, is the brush good? It's still kind of stiff, but okay, well, we'll see if it works. Yeah, it's stuck in a position. Okay, so I'm gonna do. Yep, and just enjoy it and just, just feel it. Just, <laughs> you know, just enjoy it. Take a deep breath. Enjoy it. Yeah. Don't don't tighten up and enjoy it. And then there's some light on the on other corner, the yeah, upper upper left hand upper left hand corner. Yeah. And over that flower a little bit. Yep. Nice. Okay, now do you have a dark gray color or a, a brown? I have this gray. Yeah, I like that. Okay, yep, yeah, that one's good. Mix it 50-50. Yep, 50-50. So 50% gray and caustic and 50% um, wax medium. Oh, like plain wax. Yep, 50%. So you're really diluting it. I'm gonna. Oof. You know, that was not quite gray. It was brown, like brown. 
Well, do you like it? I mean, that's fine. I'm fine. Um, it's going to be perfect. No, maybe I'll put a dash of black. Okay, go for it. I like the sound of that, a dash of black. Yeah, I should have claimed the purple part. That's... No, I don't. I, I think it's fine. I don't. You don't have to be too clean. See, this is what's happening. You don't have to be too clean. It's okay. I didn't do a good job here at all. Well, you know why? It's not about being clean. It's about being um, too not translucent enough. It's not. It has too much wa wax paint and not enough wax medium. Okay, it has too much wax paint and, and not enough wax medium. medium. Right. Okay. So, but what you can do now is just it's okay. Don't worry about it. We'll just we'll just work it down. Okay. So did you do all four all four parts? Yeah, one. Okay. Yeah, I did. Okay. So now fuse it all, fuse it all, fuse Should the I whole put more wax in that area. No, let's work okay. with what you did. So let's fuse it. I don't ever make a judgment until I go through my process, which is the I'm sorry, what? I don't ever try to judge it until I go through the process, process. of okay. fusing and scraping. can see how I did a boo-boo and it went over her eye. Oh yeah, that's fine. We'll fix it. I don't, I will, don't be so hard. Now while it's warm. Um, yeah, if you want. Maybe. Should I take more out or? Um, I think, I think I love that kind of shape. I would go right to her headline though. I like what's happening with the wax. I would go right to her, the side of her face. Here. Yes, I, I would take this other part off her eye. So, but switch your direction. Don't go away from the eye, go around the side of the face. Yeah, exactly. Yep. And a little bit higher. Go. Yep. Yep. There you go. There you go. Yep. Good. Keep going. I'll take it off a little bit more. You can put a little bit more pressure there because you want to take it off. I feel like I'm starting to feel like I'm getting the gist of it. Well, I think you're liking that scraping tool a lot better. You're going to like that other scraping tool too. Buy yourself a couple of them. Yeah. Okay. And then even we can play around with how I think the razor blade is, is too hard for you to grip it and yeah. scrape with it. So yeah. yeah. Okay. I yeah, I agree. So that there she great. is. Oh, perfect. Beautiful. Perfect. Beautiful. Let's see the other side. And then I think we should end for tonight. Okay. Let me see the other side. Oh, okay. So did you fuse that side? Yes. Okay. So let's scrape this side for a minute. So you're going to want to kind of, and don't feel like you have to scrape in a straight line, like scrape it a little bit this way and then turn the panel and scrape it the other way. Like 
Think of it more of like a hashtag than trying to do a curved line because a curved line is very, very challenging. I'd I'm love sure to, it was. yeah, I'd love to see you just um, get the hashtag. More like. Yeah, you wanna break it down so it's just not, so it's there, but it just looks like it was naturally put there, not forced. forced. Yeah, I just didn't do a good job when I was brushing it. My hand. That's okay. Try it. Again. Shaking a little more than. That's okay. Just try again. I don't know, I may have completely messed it up. No, it looks good. It looks good. So it's getting a little bit uneven. So one of the things that you can do to smooth it back to even is hit it with the heat gun again. But I like some of the texture that's happening. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like you have to use both tools back and forth, the scraping and the heat gun the, and then smooth it out and then let it cool and then scrape it again until you like the way it looks. I think that we can put a dark gray on it and fix it and it looks fine, but I just see if there's anything magical happening there for you. Try it. Yeah, flip it the other way. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, there you go. Good. Sometimes it's nice just to take the pressure off of trying to be perfect and just do it just to enjoy doing it, you know? And if you're not looking at it so literally. Oh, yes, now it's looking pretty. Yes. All right, I think we should stop there. It looks like hair. It's starting to evolve. I love it. Are you happy? I think it looks great. Yes. Something okay, happened at the end where it worked. I know, but that's, see, so that's the 